Would you believe me if I told you I was on the highway right now? <laughs> Welcome to Alaska. I've never recorded a video using the lights in my car, so hopefully this looks okay. But it's like 2.15 in the morning, and it's like dusk outside. Like, I can see everything around me perfectly, which is so wild. I've been driving for five hours. Got a late start because I didn't get off till 6, and I had to go walk the sled dog that I'm responsible for, so... Anyways, so I'm pulled off on the side of the road and I'm just gonna sleep in the backseat of the car for now. Hopefully I don't get a knock. There's a van in the same like parking area. Maybe like a quarter of a mile away. But also, you know, I'm in a car, so I don't know. And I don't have any shades for my windows. I'm just gonna straight up sleep in the backseat. I don't care. This was literally like me whenever I had my niece on, whenever I first started traveling. Like, I don't care. I just wanna see what I can see and drive as far as I can before the sun sets. <laughs> What's wild is the sun's gonna rise in two hours. I'm not joking. <laughs> I kinda wish I was because I need to sleep in, but. I've made peace with the fact that even if I only get a couple hours of sleep, that's fine. It's okay. Okay. I'm gonna go. <laughs> Bye. I survived the night of camping, and this is my view. <clears throat> I have about two hours to go.
decided to go check out these tide poles or tide poles by um, Lowell State Park in Seward is where I am. Um, so I drive down this like dirt road two miles to get there. Well, I go to leave. She said that the road is closed until five. So there's no way out and I'm stuck here for another three hours, which really sucks because I was going to go hike to a glacier, but I guess they just randomly opened it for one hour during the day and I just so happened to sneak in during that hour. So I'm going to go sit on the beach for three hours because at least I have that to do. <laughs> Life has a really weird way of slowing you down sometimes. <laughs> I had like all these things that I was going to go do today and all these like ideas about how the day was going to go. I didn't know that I was going to get stuck on a peninsula for hours. But honestly it's kind of beautiful because I just like get to sit at the beach and Enjoy the waves crashing forever. It's just so crazy how wild Alaska is and I don't know. It's a love-hate relationship with some of the things, but you just have to learn how to adapt. As with any kind of traveling, honestly, but I'm just thankful that I have a car and I'm able to get around and that I can even be here to see this because I spent like seven hours driving to get here and I'd say it's well worth it. One more thing, today is exactly one month since I uh, boarded a flight to Alaska and I think it's just now setting in that I like live here <laughs> and that I'm not just visiting and uh, I I just I don't know it, it's still wild to me that like I got like a one-way flight and like I have this idea of like when I'm leaving but I've already changed that idea like three times and as far as right now it's I'm staying pretty indefinitely <laughs> so yeah I live in Alaska <laughs> look at my campsite I get to sleep here tonight with this beautiful view. Wowza. <laughs> The resident orcas travel in their familial pods. So these are brothers, sisters, aunts, uncles, grandmothers. So these orcas stick with their families their entire life. And they're a matriarchal society as well. So it's the eldest female that's in charge. Typically it's a grandmother because it's usually three to four generations all travel together.
Okay, I did a four hour whale watching tour. So that was really exciting. Um, and I've decided that since I did not get to do this yesterday because the road was closed, I'm gonna go hike to Exit Glacier. So it's like a two mile round trip to go to the viewpoint of Exit Glacier. Um, I could see it from my whale watching tour, but we were pretty far away. Um, yeah, it's raining outside, so that'll be fun.